mean, they got pictures and all that to prove it, right? Movies, everything to show. Jeremiah 30 and 18. We're going to own all their possessions. They just getting ready for it to supply it for us, y'all. That's beautiful. God, that's beautiful. I mean, that's the good news. Jeremiah 30 and 18. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 18. Right. Thus saith the Most High, Behold, I will bring again the captivity of Jacob's tents, and have mercy on his dwelling places, and the city shall be builded upon her own heap, and the palace shall remain after the manner thereof. That's right. This is what the Most High promised us. Isaiah 60 and 10. promised us this, Isaiah 60 and 10. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 10. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their king shall minister unto thee. So these other nations are going to build up our walls. They're going to build our cities. And the kings will minister to us, read. For in my wrath I smote thee. In his wrath he smote us. Read. But in my favor have I had mercy on thee. And we know. Isaiah 14 and 1 says, For the Most High will have mercy on Jacob and would yet choose Israel and set them in their own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them. They shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They shall bring them to our place. And we're going to bring them to their, our, our place as bond men and bond women. Slave men and slave women. <coughs> read. This is what they're going to do. Read. Isaiah chapter 60 verse 11. Therefore thy gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night. That men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles. And that their king may be brought. That's right. Our, king, our gates will be open day and night that they may bring the forces of the Gentiles. They're going to be working for us. We're going to be the new IRS. <laughs> That's right. The Israelites receiving services. It's written right here. Now, if they don't want to do it, read. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. For the nation and kingdom that want to serve us, they're going to what? Shall perish. They're going to perish. Read. Yeah, those nations shall be utterly wasted. Those nations are going to be utterly wasted, done away with. So they don't want to serve us, they're going to be done away with. Jeremiah 30, 19. <laughs> Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 19. And out of them shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of them that make merry. And I will multiply them, and they shall not be few. He said, he said, he's going to multiply them. He said, he said out, of, out of the children of Israel shall proceed thanksgiving, the real thanksgiving, not this fake thanks killing, the thanks murdering, <laughs> thanks taking. It'll be the real thanksgiving, because he's going to give us eternal life. That's what's promised to us. And the voice of them that make merry. The voice of them that will be singing songs and making people feel good. And be happy. And I will multiply them. He's going to multiply us. Oh yeah, we're going to be multiplied. Very much so. Y'all ready for the, multi mu the, the multiplying of the most high? Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh.
This is the good news. Read on. Verse. Verse. I will glorify them, and they shall not be small. See? See, I will glorify them. We should not be small, man. I mean, this is. Look at uh, Psalms 51 and 11. Isaiah 51 and 11. Isaiah chapter 51, verse 11. Therefore, the redeemed of the Most High, one Mashiach Yahushai, shall return and come with zeal unto Zion, and everlasting joy shall be. Upon their head. That's right. So we're going to come singing to Zion. He said, We're going to come singing to Zion. Read. They shall obtain gladness and joy, and sorrow and mourning shall flee away. It said we're going to come singing to Zion. Everlasting joy shall be upon our head. There shall, we shall obtain gladness and joy and sorrow and mourning shall flee away. This is what's promised to us. We just got to work toward getting it. That's all. We just got to work toward this. Beautiful. Huh? Uh, yes. Look at uh, Isaiah 54 and 7. Isaiah. Chapter 54, verse 7. For a small moment have I forsaken thee. Say, for a small moment, remember the day to the Most High is a thousand years. Say, for a small moment to the Most High have He forsaken us. Read. But with great mercies will I gather thee. No, not only mercy on Jacob, but great mercies will He gather us, man. Read. In a little wrath, I hid my face from thee. In a little wrath, he hid his face from us. For how long? For a moment. For a moment. So only a moment to the Most High. Read. But with everlasting kindness will I have mercy on thee. But with everlasting kindness will he have mercy on us. Who said it? Said the Most High. Why Mashiach Yahushai. Why Mashiach Yahushai died for redeemed. Our Redeemer, man. I'm not going to go on and on. Let's go back to uh, Jeremiah 30, man. This sounds good to me. I need this. I need to hear this. I'll shovel myself out of shy. You know? Because, I mean, we're going through all we're going through, but he's letting us know that he's going to save us. He's going to redeem us. He's going to save us from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. Read on. Jeremiah, chapter 30, 30, verse 20. Verse 19. Okay, Jer verse 20. Jeremiah, chapter 30, verse 20. Their children also shall be as aforetime, and their congregation shall be established before me. And I will punish all that oppress them. There it is again. 
He said, our children also shall be as aforetime as we were before. And our congregation shall be established before the Most High. In the Mashiach Yahweh Shah. He said, I'm going to punish all that oppress them. So all the people that want to oppress us, they're going to be punished. He's going to punish all them that oppress us. Read. And their nobles shall be of themselves. So everyone that's going to be in charge over the children of Israel are going to be of ourselves, of one of the 12 tribes of Israel. Their nobles, primarily the 144,000, he told, he told them that the 12 apostles are going to judge the 12 tribes of Israel. We know the 144,000, 12,000 from each of the tribes of Israel are going to be the ruling party also with the Mosheim. But they're going to be of our nation, not no one else. Right. You see? That's why we're not supposed to be putting nobody over us, but our people. And their nobles shall be of themselves, read. And their governor shall proceed from the midst of them. See, our governor going to proceed from the midst of us. We know Amashiach Yahushai is the top governor, read. And that will cause him to draw near. And will cause him to draw near, read. And he shall approach unto me. Approach unto the most high, read. For who is this that engaged his heart to approach unto me? Saith the most high. That's right. The Masiach was shy only. <laughs> Go ahead. And ye shall be my people, and I will be your power. He say, we're going to be his people, and he's going to be our power. Read. Behold, the whirlwind of the most high. Why Mashiach have a shot going forth with fury? See, he said the whirlwind of the Most High going forth with fury, read. A continuing whirlwind. A continuing whirlwind, read. It shall fall with pain upon the head of the wicked. It's going to fall with pain upon the head of the wicked. It's going to fall with pain upon the head of the wicked. Read. The fierce anger of the Most High shall not return. The fierce anger of the Most High shall not return once he sent it out. Read. Until he have done it. Until he have done it. Read. And until he have performed. Until he have performed what? The intent of his heart. The intent of his mind. What is going to happen? In the latter days, ye shall consider it. And we're in the last days now. So in the last days, we're going to consider it. All that is written. So we know Job 9.24 says he's going to fall with pain upon the head of the wicked. Get Job 9.24. Job chapter 9 verse 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. So the earth is given to the hand of the wicked, read. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, read. If not, where and who is he? That's right. So we know that Esau covered the faces of the judges thereof. He do it in his movies, he do it in his pictures. He did it in the Bible, grew up in the Bible, it's all his pictures. It's all his pictures. We the judges of the world. We're gonna judge angels, he tells us in the first Corinthians 6, 1 down. Second Peter 3 and 10. So this whirlwind is gonna go forth with destruction. Second Peter 3 and 10. Second Peter, chapter three, verse ten. But the day of the Most High, Wamashek and Hawashah, will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also. And the works that are therein shall be burned up. That's right. So the 
dare the most high is coming. You're still like a whirlwind. You're gonna come like a thief. You ain't gonna know when he's coming. Only the most high know when he's gonna do this. You know, you're gonna come as a thief in the night. You don't know when a thief coming to rob you. You know, which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat because he coming with fire to burn this place up. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Read. See, then that all these things shall perish. Oh. So like it. Second Peter chapter 3 verse 11. See, then that all these things shall be dissolved. So seeing that all the things on the earth are going to be dissolved, read. What manner of persons are ye to be? What manner of person are ye to be, read? In all holy conversation and righteousness. See, why do we have the conversations outside from a holy conversation of righteousness? We'll be looking at how we can take advantage of trying to do better in the eyes of the Most High. But following what he has to say and learning more and not so much time and not dealing with what it is that you have learned when the book is closed. Read. Looking forward and hasting unto the coming of the day of the Most High, wherein the heavens being on fire. See? We're in the heavens being on fire, man. This heaven right here on the earth. And you're going to see the sky. All you're going to see is fire. Read. Shall be dissolved. Shall be dissolved. Read. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Read. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens. We look for new heavens. Read. And a new earth. And a new earth, man. Come on. We're in dwelling righteousness. We're in dwelling righteousness. He said all the Israelites are going to be righteous. Read. Verse 14. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent. You've got to be diligent. You can't be just in this a little bit and just out of it. No, you got to be diligent in this to win it. Putting in works. Making sure that you there. Read. That ye may be found of him in peace. That you may be found of him in peace. Because if you ain't found in peace, you'll be found in what? War. He'll be warned against you. Because remember, that's why he said to be a friend of the world, you at war with the most high. You're enmity with the most high. That's war with the most high. To be a friend of the most high, you're the enemy of the most high. So if you're not going to be found in peace, if you out there in all the world. You see what I'm saying? Me? Without spot. Without spot, me? And blameless. And blameless. That's what we want to be because Isaiah 34 and 4 and 5. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 4. Verse 4 and 5. And all the host of heaven shall be dissolved, and the heavens shall be brought together as they, as they scroll. Just like they dropped the bomb on Nakasaki and Hiroshima, Hiroshima, it's going to be the same way. That scroll is like that, like atomic bomb, it's like a mushroom cloud. Read. And all their host shall fall down. And all their army gonna fall down. Read. As a leaf falls uh, from the vine. That's right, because you know, Mashiach Abishai said all the military gonna come together against them, and he gonna burn them up, so they gonna be nothing but dust and the smell of smoke. Read. And as a falling fig from the fig tree. Come on. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. The sword gonna be bathed in heaven right here on this earth. Read. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumea. It shall come down upon Idumea, representing Edomites, Edom Rome, which represent the Caucasians, gonna be in the superpower of the earth. That's why I say Esau is the end of the world. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. 
So you can come out. I do me, look at I do me in the in the Zonovan Compact Bible Dictionary, so no way won't think I'm just not talking knowing what I'm talking about. I do me. Zonderbank Compact Bible Dictionary. I do me pertaining to Edom. Pertaining to Edom. Edom Rome. Don't say Edom Rome. Greek and Roman name for Edom. Greek and Roman name for Edom. Okay. Is that it? Uh, so Greek and Roman name for Edom. So his sword going to come down upon the Edomites, who was a superpower of the earth at this time in these last days. That's why I said Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. Okay, from there, what is he going to do? Zechariah 14 and 12. Chapter 14, verse 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Most High will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Well, this is the plague that the Most High is going to bring upon or kill, smite me to kill all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. What are you going to do? Their flesh shall consume away. While they stand upon their feet. It's like that woman in Terminator. I was at that fence when that, when that uh, atomic bomb went off. Was it Terminator? The movie Terminator when that, that woman was at that fence and that atomic bomb went off and you seen her melt away. It said their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. Remember it said all the elements going to melt with fervent heat. Their flesh going to melt away as they stand upon their feet. Read. And their eyes shall consume away. In their holes. Their eyes are gonna consume away in their holes, read. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. And their tongue's gonna consume away in their mouth. But what's gonna to happen to those that are in the spirit with the most high? His chosen, 1 Thessalonians 4, 16 and 17. Somebody say something? Oh, we can hear you talking in the background when you press star six. Did you press star six? First Thessalonians 4 and 16. 